And this was started by medical students at Georgetown University, and it's very quickly expanded. So there's different regions in the US, of course, um, and in order to address this at a local level, we've divided the country into different regions, and each region has um, a group of volunteers who we work with to identify donors of supplies, and that can be local businesses. A lot of it is local businesses, actually. Um, you know, it can be tattoo parlors, it can be construction companies. Uh, the art, artistic art community has been really helpful in New York City, I know, um, because there's a lot of industries that use N95 masks and other, uh, other types of um, personal protective equipment who might have extra stock. And my understanding is that this initiative actually came out of uh, the, the knowledge that when lots of universities closed, the research labs closed too, or at least the ones that were for training students, like pre-med students. Um, and because all of these labs typically require you to have some level of PPE, uh, we knew that there were all of these excess supplies kind of hanging around. And that was how I got involved, was trying to figure out how we could mobilize those supplies. So what we do, as I said, is we reach out to donors, we contact them, cold call, cold email, we use our connections, um, whatever they may be, and we ask for donations. And it's pretty much, it's as simple as that. We work with the volunteers to go and pick up the donations. We take supply requests on our website, which is medicalsupplydrive.com. So people who are working in healthcare can submit requests and say, I need N95s, I need Lysol wipes, I need this. Then the leadership team will distribute those requests to the different regions, and we will work to try and uh, match the donors to the supplies. As context, my background is in public health and specifically public health research. So what I want people to know is that it might not be as bad as New York City in Florida right now, but it is going to be very likely. And we know from the numbers that the number of cases is increasing exponentially. Um, this is something that is going to continue to be a major need. So we really do, everybody can play a part in this. Um, even if they don't have transportation, even if they don't themselves have things to donate, they're they are more than welcome to get involved. We can always use more people helping us connect with these companies, helping us connect with different um, donors so we can get the supplies to the workers on the front line. I can't emphasize enough how much our healthcare workers are going to need this PPE. This is life or death for a lot of us, and it not only affects the healthcare workers like doctors and nurses, it also affects patients. So that would just be my message is that we really need everybody on the ground in this fight.